and I'm Mason. Okay guys, it's here. It's the last day of school before Christmas break. Today's Wednesday, is December 19, 2012. Woohoo! Woo Not only is today the last day of school before the break, Christmas is next Tuesday! That means there's only six more shopping days counting today until Christmas! Better get busy if you haven't started shopping yet. Today we'll finish our Christmas reading in the book of Isaiah. That's right, the book of Isaiah. He told about the Savior long before his birth. Isaiah 9, 6 says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. Okay, guys, that's the end of our Christmas reading. Now it's time to respect the flag. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Time for some news you can use. Children of the World Choir is coming to Legacy again. I just love hearing them sing. They will be in our chapel on Wednesday, January 9th. That's right after we get back from break. Time for some chess club news. Recently, our team participated in a tournament, and we want to recognize some outstanding players. Jay Edwards, Julie Allison, Rush McCown, Ben Tebrink, and Jasmine Jointer represented LCA. We won first place in J through 12 U900 section and fourth place overall. There were over 115 players who played in this tournament. Way to go guys, you are awesome. Fourth grade will be having a chili cook off January 14th. Hey fourth grade, get your best recipe ready and plan on cooking up some great chili. It's going to be a blast. Now you know the news. It's time for the weather report. Are you dreaming of a white Christmas? We are going to be cooling off just a little bit, but not enough for snow. Sorry. Yeah, that's too bad. I love a white Christmas. Anyway, tonight's low is going to be in the 30s, and tomorrow's high in the 55. It's going to be windy tomorrow and warmer back up in the 60s the rest of the week. That's it for the weather report. It's time, time for, for some legacy sports. sports. You mean it's time for some legacy basketball? Our boys varsity basketball team plays a tournament after Christmas from December 27th through the 29th. They play Lake Country and these are away games, to, so check out the website for more information. The girls varsity basketball team plays, gets a break over the holidays. They won't play again until January 5th. Let's go, go Eagles! Bible trivia time. For our last Christmas question, we ask, how many times did an angel appear to Joseph in a dream? The answer can be found in the first two chapters of Matthew. Did you guess three times? If so, you're right. Okay, since our next show will be in January, you'll have a long time to look for this. So, we're going to give you a really, really, really hard question. So, you want a hard one, right, Tyler? Okay, how about this one? What were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego called before their names changed? Look it up over the break and watch us next time to see if you guess correctly. That's it for Bible Trivia. Okay, all you math maniacs, get ready for some morning math. <coughs> Second grade, the question is for you, but everyone can see if they can work it out. Mrs. Walsh decided to bake cookies for Mrs. Embry and Mrs. Rogers. How nice! If Mrs. Walsh baked a total of 28 cookies, how many cookies would Mrs. Embry and Mrs. Rogers get, each get? The real question is, what kind of cookies did you make, Miss Walsh? Oh no, here we go again! Were they sugar cookies? I love sugar cookies, but I also love chocolate chip and sugar cookies and... Okay, Jenna, we get the idea. Pause the show and see if you can figure it out. 
Did you get 14 cookies each? 28 divided by 2 is 14. Way to go, you math maniacs. That's, that's it for morning math. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you for our show today. We hope you have a wonderful Christmas. There won't be a show on Monday, January 7th, because, well, we, don't, we won't be here for the record one. But never fear, another team will be here to have a show ready on Wednesday, January 9th. We meet the team next time will be Corbin, Julie, and Ava. Bindi will be the audiovisual helper. We should finish, should we finish our song from Monday? Absolutely. Absolutely. On the first day of Christmas, my John Sue gave to me a big baking classic with cheese. On the second day of Christmas, my John Sue gave to me two happy meals and a big baking classic with cheese. On the third day of Christmas, my John Sue gave to me Three biggie fries, two happy meals, and a big bacon classic with cheese. On the fourth day of Christmas, my John Sue gave to me four egg McMuffins, three biggie fries, two happy meals, and a big bacon classic with cheese. On the fifth day of Christmas, my John Sue gave to me five onion rings, four egg McMuffins, three biggie fries, two happy meals, and a big bacon classic with cheese. On the sixth day of Christmas, my dad to give to me six chocolate milkshakes, five onion rings, four egg McMuffins, three biggie fries, two happy meals, and a big baking classic with cheese. On the seventh day of Christmas, my dad to give to me seven crunchy snack wraps, six chocolate milkshakes, five onion rings. Four egg McMuffins, three biggie fries, two happy meals, and a big baking classic with cheese. On the eighth day of Christmas, my dad to give to me eight apple pies, seven crunchy snack wraps, six chocolate milkshakes, five onion rings. Four egg McMuffins, three biggie fries, two happy meals, and a big baking classic with cheese. On the ninth day of Christmas, my dad to give to me. Nine juicy Big Macs, eight apple pies, seven crunchy snack wraps, six chocolate milkshakes, five onion rings, four egg McMuffins, three biggie fries, two happy meals, and a big bacon classic with cheese. On the tenth day of Christmas, my dresser gave to me ten plates of hotcakes, nine juicy Big Macs, eight apple pies, seven crunchy snack wraps, six chocolate milkshakes, five onion rings. Four egg McMuffins, three biggie fries, two happy meals, and a big baking classic with cheese. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my dad to give to me eleven chicken nuggets, ten plates of hot cakes, nine juicy Big Macs, eight apple pies, seven crunchy snacks, six chocolate milkshakes, five golden rings. Four egg McMuffins, three biggie fries, two happy meals, and a big baking classic with cheese. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my dress who gave to me twelve bars of Pepto, seven chicken nuggets, ten plates of hotcakes, eight apple pies, seven crunchy snack wraps, six chocolate milkshakes, five onion rings, four egg McMuffins, three Biggie fries, two Happy Meals, and a big bacon classic with cheese. Do you have any with Pepto? Cheese. With cheese. I need Pepto. Cheese.